Hello, my name is Courtney Cruz. I'm a senior at the Center of Science and Industry. My pathway, mechatronics. My senior capstone is the simulations of renewable energy. I wanted to show how each one was able to interact with the environment around it. Here you can see all my CAD drawings, how I changed it to make it more professionally pleasing, accurate. First thing I did was buy all of my materials after what I knew the project was going to be. I found out that incandescent lights were better for solar cell reading. Here I created my solar panel mount. My code, I discovered some of it was I had errors because I was using different laptops and I saved it differently. Here you can see all the sizing changes that I had to make because some of the parts eventually broke. Here are some of my math before making all of my um, base to my project before I could actually add the circuitry. I discovered that I had to make changes to the wind turbine again after the printer, the 3D printer was too small. I painted all of the parts before assembling some of the 3D models together and here I tested the solar cell to make sure it worked with all my soldering. I made sure to pay more attention to detail and here I'm prototyping. After that I finally created a finalized circuitry board after soldering it. I assembled most of it and added holes onto the board so that everything could fit and then I eventually just downloaded and installed everything. I had to make changes to the container of my project because it wasn't able to hold enough water and I needed more space for the water mill. I put the circuitry to the bottom of my project because I felt like it would look more professional. I used plastic containers, paper mache, mod podge, and then I painted all of them with colors after discovering that rocks were too expensive. And then I used sculpting material to create the funnel and then rocks on the outside. And then I added a water candlelight kind of board to stop it from. I had to change different placements on each of the systems to make sure each one worked more accurately. I had to modify the waterfall about three to six times before I could actually 100% complete it. Thank you for watching my video.